If you ever wanted to make your own hydrogen and then turn it into bombs, well, using this oxyhydrogen generator that I designed, you can do just that. This model uses two canning jars, one big one and one small one, a bit of thin sprinkler tubing or something, a bunch of silicone or some sort of sealant, and um, we're going to need some steel rods, okay? and uh, some sodium hydroxide or lye which can be found at several different hardware stores we're also going to need some steel wool this is for the hydrogen electrode and this just puts a whole lot of surface area on there um, so yeah grab some steel wool and wrap it up with some nylon strings so that it doesn't dissolve in the lye and uh, make sure the two electrodes aren't touching and um, yeah so the first step to do is going to be to take our electrodes and bend them so that we have about one and a half inches here of space where we can cl connect our power supply up to. You then want to drill some holes um, in the cap of the um, canning jar and stick in some sort of insulator. Those little ye um, orange yellow type things in there uh, insulate it from the metal so that they don't short up out between the two electrodes. You want to do that for both sides and then add plenty of silicone or some sort of sealant to seal it together. Um, and then attach on the steel wool on this side and bind it tight together. Finally, you're going to want to take some sort of plastic object and uh, drill two holes in it and stick it on the end of there so that it keeps a space between there so that they don't short out, create a spark, and have your whole thing blow up, which would be pretty bad. The next part is going to be to take some sprinkler tubing and pop another hole through. This doesn't have to be insulated, though, because this is not metal and not going to conduct anything. Then you want to puncture it through, apply some silicone or sealant, and seal it in place. Now, this is a really junky setup here, um, but you could probably do it better. Just have one pipe instead of all this junk here. Um, but anywhere where you make a connection, make sure you seal it really well so that no hydrogen can escape or oxygen. And you bring it down to your small canning jar. This is our bubbler. So I just silicone the uh, tube right into the bubbler here, and uh, it goes down to the bottom. That's where the oxygen and hydrogen are going to enter. And then it bubbles. You're going to fill this about a third of with water, it bubbles out, and it's collected here. There's two sizes here. You can put tiny little water balloons on this pipe here, or you could put a big balloon on here, okay? Or actually tin foil balloons, like let's say happy birthday on them or whatever, they work really well with this, and they make a really loud bang. So whatever your preference is, um, yeah, you can use that. Our power supply that I used is just a modified Xbox 360 power supply. Now I found this for really cheap, like five dollars at the uh, thrift store. Um, so I just modified it so that the output over here instead is going to have two alligator clips um, right here. They should be pretty high amp rating because this thing produces about 15 amps, um, which is about what we're going to need at about 12 volts. Anyhow, this thing's going to heat up a bit, but it produces quite a bit of hydrogen. So you want to clip these on and um, yeah, here I'll show you a demonstration in two moments. So we have to fill our bubbler, about a third full of water, and this big canning jar almost all the way to the top. Then we're going to add one teaspoon, or not even one teaspoon probably. Maybe you could do one teaspoon, but half a teaspoon works just as well because, oh, sorry, too much, and um, we're going to get too much conductivity. And, um, then a thing will short out or pop the breaker or something bad. So, it's like a cooking show almost. You take your half a teaspoon, oh my goodness, of lye. Sorry. And you're going to empty it into there. Now, we have to wait until this completely dissolves before we add anything else in. So, so once the lye has been dissolved fairly well, Try to make sure it's all dissolved because we're going to want a good electrolyte to start this off. Now the hotter the water gets, the um, more conductive it's going to be. So, um, yeah. But anyhow, so we're going to screw on our canning jar ring and everything. Make sure it's a really good tight seal. And then we're going to take our bubbler. And the bubbler's over here. And we're going to make sure the balloon has no air in it. 
and then screw on the lid to our bubbler. This is going to make the whole system 100% airtight. So this balloon will start to fill up as soon as we start this going. So I'll hook up my Xbox 360 power supply and we will be... So as you can see, we have everything hooked up. We just need to attach our negative electrode. This is what's going to produce the hydrogen. So, get that on there. You can see it instantly starts to bubble. And this column is all going to be hydrogen. This column is all going to be oxygen. So it's instantly bubbling, producing plenty of bubbles. You can see all those bubbles there. Now even after a few seconds, the balloon has started to fill up with hydrogen. Um, it went from empty to about that much. And you can see it down there. It's bubbling at a pretty good speed. So um, as long as your hydrogen maker is extremely airtight and everything, then um, this should work excellent. So um, meet me back and we can blow some things up and I'll show you in slow motion and whatnot how all this stuff works. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. You could fill up punch balloons and like punch balloons filled up are pretty awesome. Anyhow, so um, have fun.